Dear students, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Kanjalayamal Mahalangi Engineering College, Goyal Vinni. I am happy to meet you again through the video lecture series on the subject heat and mass transfer. This is lecture number one on the module mass transfer. Uh, the topic for today's discussions are mole fraction, diffusion velocity, molar flux, fixed law of diffusion, and diffusion in gases. So, we will be defining the basic concepts, basic parameters of mass transfer in this lecture. Uh, we recap from the third semester. We studied the properties of gaseous mixer and the uh, gas universal gas constant, Dalton's law of partial pressure, partial pressure of uh, gas constituent in the mixer, and the various properties of the uh, gas constituent or the gaseous mixer. We studied in third semester. Uh, we will be using the concepts here uh, for mass transfer. And uh, the outcome for the today's lecture, at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to define what is fixed law of diffusion. That is a very important topic. And uh, mass transfer, the basic definition for the mass transfer. The process of transfer of constituents of mixer from high concentration area to low concentration area is known as mass transfer. So, we are dealing with the mixer of the gases. When you, when you talk about the mixer of the gases, there are different gas constituents in the uh, gas mixer. Uh, for example, you take the exhaust gas from any combustion chamber, any power plant or automobile. The exhaust gas contains the main constituents CO2, carbon dioxide and water vapor and nitrogen. So, these are the main constituents of the gaseous mixer. So, the process of constituents of the mixer, transfer of constituents of the mixer from high concentration area to low concentration area is known as mass transfer. So, the gas constituents, they are moving from one place to another place due to the concentration difference. So, they move from high concentration area to low concentration area. So, the movement of gas constituents from high concentration area to low concentration area is known as mass transfer. We take the first example, we take a beaker of water, we take small quantity of sugar and put the sugar into this water, so the sugar will dissolve, that is what our experience. So the sugar molecules, they disperse, they move inside the water, as the time increases, the slowly the concentration, so here, you look at here, here the concentration of molecules are more and the molecule started, starts to move from uh, base to the towards the top and uh, this is the second level so the mole molecules are moving and here you find more uh, evenly distributed gas mo sugar molecules inside the water this is the uh, mass transfer so the there are two constants one is water molecule another one is sugar molecule the sugar molecules are moving inside the water the molecule so the because of the concentration difference so the here you look at here, here you have more concentration of the sugar at the beginning. So here there is no concentration, there is no sugar molecule. So the sugar molecules are moving and it occupies and evenly distributed inside the water. There is another situation. You take a tall chimney, from the top of the chimney, the smoke is moving to the atmosphere with a certain velocity. So the smoke, smoke is moving with the velocity. So the smoke moves. In, into the atmosphere and after some time they disperse into the atmosphere. So, these two are the two modes of mass transfer. Uh, one is called as diffusion mass transfer, another one is called as convection mass transfer. So, the this is first one is called as diffusion mass transfer and second one is called as convection mass transfer and the, the driving force for the mass transfer is concentration gradient. So, concentration gradient is the driving force for the mass transfer and in the case of heat transfer, uh, temperature difference, temperature gradient is the driving force. In the case of uh, electrical current flow, voltage difference is the uh, driving force. So, the driving force for the mass transfer is the concentration gradient. So, the molecules or the gas constituents, uh, they, are, um, they, they are moving from high concentration area to the low concentration area. And these are all the few examples of mass transfer. Dissolution of salt or sugar in water, smoke moving from your tall chimney into atmosphere, 
humidification dehumidification process in the air conditioning drying of the cloth in the open atmosphere evaporation and condensation process so we have many more examples for the mass transfer these are all the yes, this is this is what a small list of mass transfer examples and we discussed various definitions first mass concentration so mass concentration rho a of the component a is defined as the mass of a per unit volume of the mixer so it is very simple it is density actually density of the a equal to mass of the a divided by the total volume of the mixture and the molar concentration so the molar concentration uh, it is given by a molar concentration of the constituent a is defined as the number of moles of a per unit volume of the mixture so ca molar concentration of a component a or constituent a equal to number of moles of a divided by the volume so from the previous definition you can write this is also rho a by mba rho a is the the mass concentration divided by the mba is the molecular weight of the uh, the uh, molecular weight of the component a and the mass fraction so ma equal to rho a by rho so the mass of the mass fraction of defined as the ratio of mass concentration of the component a to the mass of density of the mixer so density of the component a to the total density of the mixer is called as mass fraction of the uh, component a and the uh, next definition is mole fraction so mole fraction is defined as the ratio of number of moles of component a to the total number of moles so number of moles of a divided by total number of moles is the uh, mole fraction so ya equal to ca by c so ca is the uh, concentration of gradient a uh, constituent a and c is the concentration of the mixer gas mixer and these equations are hold good for the uh, two component system the mass concentration density equal to rho a plus rho b uh, c concentration equal to ca plus cb one equal to ma plus mb mass of a mass of a component a plus mass of b equal to 1 and the mole fraction of component a plus mole fraction of component b equal to 1 and we have the perfect gas equation uh, perfect gas equation for a gaseous mixer we can write for the component a uh, we know pv equal to n ro into t where ro is the universal gas constant we write the equation for a particular component of the gaseous mixer so pa is the partial pressure of a v is the volume and the na into ro into t na is the number of moles of a ro is the universal gas constant so for the mixer volume and temperature they are constant ro is the universal gas constant and the two variables are partial pressure of a and number of moles of a and the molar concentration ca is given by na by v so we substitute na from this equation previous equation so this leads to pa by ro into t so the concentration a is given by pa by ro into t uh, similarly, the mole fraction of the component A is given by CA by C. We substitute for CA from the previous equation. So, YA equal to CA by C equal to PA by P. So, the mole fraction equal to partial pressure of the component A divided by the total pressure of the gaseous mixer. And the molar average velocity. So, the molar average velocity of the mixer in the x direction is defined as 1 by u equal to 1 by c into u a c a plus u b c b, where u a u b are the statistical mean velocity of the component a and b. So, u a we defined already, u a is the velocity, c a is already defined molar concentration, c b is the molar concentration of b, u a is the mean velocity of the component a and b, and c is the total concentration of the gaseous mixer. And diffusion velocity. Diffusion velocity of the component A and B with respect to molar average velocity is defined as diffusion velocity equal to A equal to U A minus B, U A minus U and diffusion velocity of B component B equal to uh, U B minus U. So, diffusion velocity indicates the motion of the component relative to the local average motion of the mixer. So, this is what the, the meaning of the diffusion velocity. So, the listen, li, listen carefully here, the mixer is moving. So the mixer is moving in the uh, in the x direction. So in the in the mixer movement, what is the movement of the component A with respect to the motion of the mixer? That is what called as diffusion velocity of the component A. Similarly, com for component B. And the molar fluxes, molar flux. Another definition: molar flux Na and Nb of the component A and B 
relative to the stationary coordinate n a equal to c a into u a and n b equal to c b into u b. So, what is the meaning for modal flux? Modal flux indicates the number of moles of the component component pass through per unit area perpendicular to the x axis per unit time. So, modal flux indicates number of moles of the component pass through unit area perpendicular to the x axis per unit time. So, number of molecules are crossing. You locate a particular, you have a particular location per unit area, per unit area. what is number of moles of uh, component A is moving uh, per unit time, it, it is what called as molar flux. And molar flux J A and J B of the component A and B related to the molar average velocity J A equal to C A into U A minus U and J B equal to C B into U B minus U. And the molar fluxes J A and J B are the measure of diffusion rate of the component A and B in the mixture. How? What is the rate of diffusion of the component A and B? So, in this equation, substituting for uh, this U, U A minus U from the previous equation, U for the above equation, U equal to uh, 1 by C into U A plus C A, U A C A plus U B C B and substituting here and simplifying, we find both J A plus J B from the above equation, you find J A plus J B that leads to 0, uh, that means J A equal to minus J B. So, we have two equations, J A we have one equation, J B we have one equation, you add the two equations that will give 0. Then what is the meaning final conclusion? J A equal to minus J B, that is the two components in a mixer, uh, modal flux J A and J B are equal but in opposite direction, that means J A moving in the positive x direction, J B is moving in the negative x direction with the same uh, a value, mag some magnitude but they are in the opposite direction. And uh, finally, fixed, fixed law of diffusion. Fixed law states that the modal flux of constituent per unit area is proportional to the concentration gradient. So, the definition is very important. N A by A equal to minus D into dou C A by dou X where dou C A by dou X is the concentration gradient in the X direction and D is the diffusion coefficient. N A is the uh, diffusion uh, modal flux per unit area. So, where the diffusion coefficient normally it will be given in the problem. If it is not given, you have to find out the diffusion coefficient using this equation, which involves T is the temperature, P is the pressure, V A is the volume of the constant A, V B is the volume of the constant B, and M A and M B are the molecular weight of A and B. So, using this value, D value, D equation, you can find out the uh, diffusion coefficient but the majority of the cases, the diffusion coefficient will be given in the problem. And this is the uh, small example of uh, diffusion coefficient. Ammonia uh, disperse, dissolves in the air. Uh, the diffusion coefficient centimeter square per second equal to 0.28. Similarly, carbon dioxide in the air, oxygen in the air, water vapor in the air 0.256, benzene in the air 0.088, and ethylene alcohol in the air 0.1119 centimeter square per second. So, this is the value of diffusion coefficient uh, for different combinations. So, the solvent is air and solute is ammonia, carbon dioxide, oxygen, water vapor, benzene and the ethylene glycol. So, we stop here and these are all the books I referred for preparing the slides. You can also refer to it uh, for further information and this is the book what I have written earlier uh, in the subject. You can refer to it for additional information of the mass transfer and if you have any queries, you can write to me to my mail ID and you can pass the comments on the video so that it will be improved in future. Until then, thank you very much for listening.